Hello everyone, Julia Sheen here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Brisbane, Queensland. Today I'd just like to show you how I made this little card. It's, I just love it. It's really cute and I love the way this stamp, when it's done reverse stamping, makes the heart in the sky. It's got a nice little sparkle to it. Okay, and, and mentioning that, the reverse stamping was a bit of a challenge because... Um, other techniques that I'd seen um, I couldn't do with this stamp because I didn't have a photopolymer stamp large enough to put it on the back of because it's this size so I think you can see that and so that was a bit of a challenge beautiful stamp set it's from last year star of light still in the catalog absolutely beautiful the sentiments are amazing so I tried um, various different things that I'd seen people do, acetate sheet, all sorts of stuff, but nothing quite worked for me. So I went on the internet, found a lady called Michelle Wright. She's from America, and she uses the silicon craft sheet that we have, and I found it actually did a pretty good job for what I needed. The other challenge I had was the fact that the actual stamp that I have, it looks like it's got a band-aid on it, it kind of does in a way, doesn't, um, it doesn't stamp properly. It's, it'll stamp in every area except for across here. It's just not the same height as the rest of the stamp and I've, I've had a lot of trouble from it from the beginning. Someone recently said to me, why didn't you return it? And I thought, oh, you know what it's like returning things and you you just don't know what's going to happen. So, And it, well, I was new to Stampin' Up! at that stage, so I thought, oh, I'll just let it go and I'll do the best I can. But now knowing that they're so quick and they re replace things for you straight up, I, I would have sent it back in a heartbeat, but I didn't know, so I'm stuck with it the way it is. So if you do have any Stampin' Up! products that you aren't happy with when you get them, please return them. They do a fantastic job in getting a new one out to you. Anyway, this is my way of doing it. I've slid some cardstock in underneath there just to raise up the little area that I need. And yeah, that I'm going to do it that way. Now the things you're going to need are a piece of Pacific Point eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, a piece of the glimmer paper, the silver glimmer paper, four inches by five and six eighths of an inch, a piece of Pacific Point measuring three and seven eighths of an inch by five and five eighths of an inch, and then you'll need two pieces of sparkle glimmer paper. This has replaced the Dazzling Diamonds. I'm trying to get used to it. I loved the Dazzling Diamonds. This is slightly different in colour, just slightly, so I'm sure I'll get used to it. Um, I think you can see it here. I used Dazzling Diamonds on this one, and this is the new Sparkle one. And it is very pretty, um, but I had to use up some of my Dazzling Diamond that I had left. So that's two and a half inches by five and five eighths of an inch and one and a half inches by five and five eighths of an inch and then we just have some small strips of whisper white uh, pacific point and a little strip of the glimmer paper sorry i was just picking that up off the floor it fell down and the cat was going to sit on it so <laughs> i saved it okay so, to get started, we're going to get the Pacific Point that I'm going to use and I'm just setting it in there and I'll put the magnets on and get the Versamark and hopefully this will print the area that I have trouble with this stamp. So we'll see how we go. Ah, one thing I nearly forgot. And any of you that watch this regularly will know that that's 
an issue I have. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just make sure that's still straight. I'm going to bring that over there and then press down on that, particularly in that area that I have trouble with. And we'll have a look. Oh, that's gone quite well. I'm happy with that. So straight out of there. Just move that for a minute and get some silver embossing powder onto there. Yes, that's good. Very happy with that. Please excuse the noise for a second. I did this card in a YouTube sorry not YouTube a Facebook live last night with my daughter so it's um it's come to sort of be known as the comedy hour with us but this is just a straight up video of it but if you want an entertaining video pop onto my Facebook and you can see that one as well I pulled a bit of a prank on Becky last night. She's always doing it to me. So. Okay. That's gone well. And it's it's done the area that I was concerned about. So that's really good. Now, we'll bring this back in. And, of course, this is the tricky bit. Now, what I did with this last night was just to help get the impression well on it. I put a piece of cardstock there. Oops, I'll just take that off. There we go. A lot of noise outside today. I hope you can't hear it. It's raining here too, which is lovely. We've finally got some really nice rain. Had a bit of a thunderstorm this morning. There we go. And then we're going to do that up again. Just have a look at that. Let's see. Yes, that's not bad. So now it's a matter of putting this on here and then getting it over onto the cardstock. Just going to have a little peek under there. Probably need to turn it to the light for just a second, sorry. Some, I'm not sure that it's transferred particularly well. We'll have to see. I don't think it has, unfortunately. I may have to do it again. Oh, it mightn't be too bad. I might be a bit of a pessimist too early, I think here. You never know. Just get my little paintbrush. It's just a little bit faint in the problem area. But most of that problem area has, has actually transferred, which is really good. We'll see. We'll give it a heat up and we'll see.
and I'm pretty happy with that. That's not bad at all. It's a little thin across there. But I can always do a couple of little dots in Versamark later and fix that up. But overall, that's transferred pretty well. So I can't complain about that. That's good. And I will fix that up. Yep. All right. So we'll get rid of all of this. I'll clean all that up after. And we'll go on to just a little scrap of paper and our stamp of the snow people. Just put that over there. And again, um, I think I'll use the black. This is such a cute little stamp. Imagine this stamp's going to be very popular with people because it's just too cute. <laughs> there we are, look at that. They're so sweet. And I'll pop that over there. Now you have to fussy cut this out, and luckily it's a really easy one to fussy cut out. So I have done one already just to save a bit of time. So there it is. Doesn't matter about the bottom part of it because it's going to be under the snow a bit. So then it just comes down to what colours you'd like to do it. Last night Becky did completely different colours to me. This is the one she did. And she did a red top hat, which I really, really like. And then I did a little black top hat, probably more traditional. But I like the colours she used as well. So... Where are we? I'm going to use real red for the heart. There we are. It doesn't take too long to colour this in because a lot of it's white. I do tend to be a little bit fussy at times, which probably can be annoying, but that's who I am. So the sticks for their arms. I used the uh, dark pumpkin pie for the scarf. I think I've said this before, I really like using the brush end of these stamp and blends. I'm trying to do this with my glasses off because I have um, <laughs> I have multifocals and uh, just the wrong I'm just at the wrong height for this at the moment. I think I'll do the bow green as well. Well, I shouldn't say green, should I? I should say dark shaded spruce. Such a lovely name for a, a, a colour too. I love it. All the uh, inks and everything have just lovely names. And then I'll use the light shaded spruce just for the top of the bow there and possibly where else could I use that I'll use it on the band of the hat there we go my cat patch is lying on the floor here keeping me company today and I'll use garden green for the holly and 
there we go just a little bit of holly on there i think i'll use the real red again for the berries and i'm going to do the hat light mango melody i like this color it's really nice There we go. And then I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler down the centre of the snowman scarf. So I'm trying to keep my hands out of the light. There we are. And I'll use... Oh, garden green for his scarf as well, I think. And we're nearly done. Down there. Just got to do that top hat and his nose. I can always touch that up a little bit like that. And we'll fix up his nose, just popping out there. Now I ordered the Stampin' Blend Black, but I haven't received it yet. So I'm just using a black art line pen just for today. Just because I want the hat black. I like the traditional. And what I did to define the shape of the hat at the top was just to leave a little bit of white in this top area. Not a lot. There we are. So that's the top of that. And I think I've done every... Oh, the only thing I missed was the bottom of her um, scarf. I'll just finish off that. There we go. And she's done. Now, the next thing you do with them is you use the fine tip glue pen or whatever you've got that you can put the some clear glue on and because they're uh, made of snow they have to sparkle so I just spread this out on all the white bits Don't squeeze it too hard because otherwise you'll have copious amounts come out and um, then it becomes a bit tricky. Now, you do in between them too because that's snow between them, so that would be glistening as well. Just keep going there and out here. Trying to do it as quick as I can for you. When I saw this um, stamp from the uh, Star of Light, I just thought, oh, if you reverse that, it's going to make the cutest little heart. So I was determined to find a way to make it work. So. up in there, a bit more blue, and then I'm going to put some Dazzling Diamonds glitter on there. There we go. Just leave that there, put the lid on this before I forget. Okay. 
Okay. And then we'll get our glitter. How cute is that? Nice and sparkly. Okay, so I'm going to pop that over there to dry for a little bit. Put all this back, apart from that little piece of fluff, into my dazzling diamonds. And then we can start putting this card together. Okay, so just pop the lid on that. Now tighten this up to get our card and I find it's really good to fold on here. Uh, just Pushing it up to there makes a really neat fold that you know is going to stay there. And I can't see my bone folder, so that little paintbrush did the trick. And the other thing I do is I cut out the center of my glimmer paper. I think I've mentioned this before, but I do it because I don't like to waste the center and I mean when it's covered up you might as well um, you might as well use it so I'm just going to pop it through my big shot I'll be right back and cut out that center pop it on there and away we go And of course it doesn't have to be accurately centered or anything because you're covering up most of that glimmer paper and it just seems a shame to waste it. And I've used that for um, all sorts of other cards for backgrounds. Just pops out easily from there. And uh, a lady was very happy with that last night because she said, oh, she's not... I hate putting things over um, all that glimmer paper that you know you'd like to use. And when you want to get two sheets in a pack, you sort of can run out really quickly. So anyway, that's just what I do. And then I glue this little frame on. I've done quite a lot of Christmas cards recently. And um, maybe you're all sick of it by now. So if you want me to do something else, just leave a comment below and I will. I, uh, I get a bit carried away when it's coming up to Christmas. Okay, so that goes on there. Then this goes on. And of course you can put things up on dimensionals too if you want to. I only do part of this card up on dimensionals. Okay. Okay, and that's gone on there. Then with your two and a half inch piece of this paper, just cut yourself a hill. So just randomly, it doesn't have to be anything sort of special that's your own doing. And then you're going to glue that on to your card. So we'll pop that on there. Then, if I can see where I put them, 
I just got a new packet of dimensionals out and I've already managed to misplace them. <laughs> ah, there they are. Good. I used up just about everything I had last night. I've got a few little side pieces left. So, I'll just see how dry this one is. I'm going to put one there. I don't want to put him down yet just in case he's not quite dry. And one there. One there. That should do it. Pull those off. And we're going to sit them oh, probably about there looking up at the sky okay now the one and a half inch piece again just a just a nice little sort of light curve on it is fine and then that is going to sit there on dimensionals but be careful that you don't um, put dimensionals across here because it actually sits on top of your little snowmen so you don't need them there you only need them on the uh, along the bottom and the sides so do it there there and there. Take that off. I have very short nails because I'm doing an aged care course. We have to be have very short nails just so that we don't hurt any clients. Okay. Get that off after. And then we just sit that on top of that one and slightly over our little snow people like that. And then all we have to do is the sentiment, which I will do in, whoops embossing buddy so I'm going to emboss it now let's see if I can get it straight this would be good hopefully that's not too bad I might get away with that Yes, that's fine. That will do just fine. There we go. And a little bit of heat. Such magic. friend of ours was watching the Facebook last night and she said oh I love that so she obviously hadn't seen embossing before and Becky said oh come on over and you can emboss everything so you never know she may turn up okay and then I'm going to glue that onto the Pacific point that I've got there, the little strip. This one's about uh, three eighths of an inch wide. The, the blue, the Pacific point is half an inch wide. And then the glimmer paper is um, five eighths of an inch wide. Just if, if you wanted to know. 
I have to be careful which way around I do things with these scissors because they're right-handed scissors so anybody who's left-handed will understand what I'm saying you've got to get the cut the right way I do have a left-handed large pair somewhere I had a left-handed knife vegetable knife which was brilliant but somewhere along the years I think it must have accidentally gone in the garbage or something and I don't have it anymore and it was so good a lot of people thought it was very strange but if you've ever had a left-handed knife and you're left-handed you'll know exactly what I mean they're so so good Okay, and we'll pop that up on dimensionals. And I'm going to sit it down the bottom here. I thought about putting it there, but I don't think so. I think it looks better at the bottom. Better cover that up too. And there it is. It's as simple as that. So it's actually quite a quick little card if you've got everything ready. So that was the one I did last night. That's the one Becky did last night. And then I did do one with inking the background, which again, I think looks quite nice too. And I think given the opportunity, I would do more with that sky. I would even probably put in some um, blueberry bliss, or uh, blackberry bliss, I should say, or something like that to get the purples into the sky. But you can see that it, it's um, transferred across quite well. So that's how you deal with a large stamp. That silicone mat is brilliant. Anyway, if you liked the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I try and get a video out every week. If you'd like me to stop doing Christmas ones for a while, that's okay too. Let me know and I'll do some others. I will try and mix some more in there anyway. And uh, yeah. Make sure you've got the notifications on and if you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're here in Australia, please go through my store or contact me. I'd be more than happy to help you. Or if you'd like to join my team, that'd be fantastic too. There's some great discounts that you can get when you're a team member, so it's always good to keep in mind. But until next video, I hope you have a great week and uh, I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.